in the previous clipping, we spoke about the scattered diagram method, which tells us about the direction of correlation, but not the magnitude of relation. But here, we are going to deal with the second method of correlation, which is called as the Carl Pearson's coefficient correlation. And first of all, we are going to do it uh, the way it should be. And then I explain it to you the merits and the demerits. The first of its kind, first of all, the Carl Pearson's coefficient is written as this. That's the symbol. And now I'm going to take up a sum and which is x is equal to are 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and 8 and y is 4, 7, 8, 9, 10, 14 and 18. Now the formula that we have for Carl Pearson's coefficient is that R or rather Carl Pearson is equal to sigma xy upon sigma x square into sigma y square. So first of all I write the number of observation of x which is 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and 8. So, I will find out the sigma x. Sigma x will be 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5 plus 6 plus 7 which gives me 35. And the number of observations are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and 7 which means my x bar will be dividing 35 from 7 giving me 5. Now, I will draw the deviation out of it. My sigma x is 35, number of observation is 7 and the x bar is 5 which means when I take this, the deviation which I draw is 5, 2 minus 5 will give me minus 3, 3 minus 5 is minus 2, 4 minus 5 is minus 1 and 5 minus 5 is 0, 6 minus 5 is 1, 7 minus 5 is 2 and 8 minus 5 is 3 and it should always be 0. I have been stressing on this. That means 3 plus 2 plus 1 and 1, 2, 3 which is equivalent and this the deviation that I have drawn is 0, 3, 2, 5 and 1, 6. 3, 2, 5 and 1, 6 which is 0. Now the deviation square, the deviation square is forgetting about the plus or the minus and multiplying it. So 3 into 3 is 9, 2 into 2 is 4, 1 into 1 is 1, 0 is 0, 1 into 1 is 1, 2 into 2 is 4, 3 into 3 is 9. When I divide or rather when I add to all these, this will give me 9 plus 4 plus 1 plus 0 plus 1 plus 4 plus 9 that is sigma x square will be 28. Now the next that we have is y. In the y, the number of observations are 4, 7, 8, 9, 10, 14 and 18 which means when I add 4 plus 7 plus 8 plus 9 plus 10 plus 14 plus 18, the sigma x is 70 and the number of observation is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and 7. So, when I divide 70 by 7, it is giving me the y that we have is 10. Now, again, I draw the deviation. When I draw the deviation, I got this as 10. So, 4 minus 10 will give me minus 6, 7 minus 10 will give me minus 3, 8 minus 10 will give me minus 2, 9 minus 10 is minus 1, 10 minus 10 is 0, 14 minus 10 is 4 and 18 minus 10 is 8. Once again 6, 3 and 2, this is 11 and 4, 8, 12, 13. So, when this comes, it is, it is 6, 9, 11 and 1, 12. This is the minus that I have and 4 plus 8 is the positive. This is the negative and this is the positive which is again same. So, my xy or the sigma y will be 0. The sigma y or sigma x has always to be 0 to see that our sum is correct. 
when I draw the deviation, I forget the positive and the negative signs. 6 into 6 is 36, 3 into 3 is 9, 2 into 2 is 4, 1 into 1 is 1, 0 is 0, 4 into 4 is 16 and 8 into 8 is 64. Now to get my sigma y square, 36 plus 9 plus 4 plus 1 plus 0 plus 16 plus 64 is going to give me 130. Now I draw the multiple deviation. The multiple deviation is when I multiply both the deviation that is the x deviation and the y deviation. So this is 3 into 6 is 18, 2 into 3 is 6 and likewise. I am going to deviate or I am going to multiply the x deviation with the y deviation. This gives me this figure. Now I have to find out the sigma xy which will be 18 plus 6 plus 2 plus 0 plus 0 plus 8 plus 24 giving me sigma xy 58. Now I have everything in hand and the formula that I have to apply to find out the Carl Pearson's coefficient correlation is that the correlation is equal to sigma xy upon sigma x square into sigma y square. Now sigma xy, where is my sigma xy? Sigma xy is this last figure that I have drawn by multiplying both the deviation of x and y which is 58. Then I have to get sigma x square. Sigma x square is 28, so I write 28 and my sigma y square is 130 multiplied by 130. So this is 58 upon 28 into 130 giving me 0 0.96 as the answer. So in this Carl Pearson's coefficient correlation, you must try and understand that we take these two as different identities x and y. We write down their number of observation. We first of all take out the deviation, then the deviation square. Likewise goes for the y observation and in the end we find out the multiple deviation which is the deviation x multiplied by deviation y. And the formula which you have to remember for finding out the Carl Pearson's coefficient correlation is that it is sigma xy upon sigma x square into sigma y square.